So, yeah, it rained earlier. Probably can't tell, but you know, whatever. So, unfortunately, I, uh, as it just so happened, I didn't have time to really listen to a CD today because I was too busy listening to other albums um, that I hadn't heard before that I had downloaded on my tablet that I just never got around to listening to. Um, and so I was just like, you know what, why don't I just review one of those then? So I decided I'm going to review the debut album by Letters from the Fire called Worth the Pain, which honestly, given the cover art, which, um, unfortunately I can't really show you right now because I don't have this CD, um, I feel like probably could have just called it Letters from the Fire. Because, you know, there's letters, and they're on fire, and there's an eye. And Worth the Pain doesn't really... I don't know. <laughs> Would you stop knocking over cans, cat? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Would you stop making me so unprofessional. I love you, I love you, Castiel, but come on. Okay, go. So, Letters from the Fire... This debut album came out in late 2016, September 9th to be exact. It is a hard rock slash metal album. <laughs> A.K.A. something that I'm going to be totally into because I love hard rock and metal. Like a lot. <laughs> so I listened to it. And I gotta say, man was I impressed. The vocal performance was absolutely outstanding so and let's get into this here the song the the album starts out with a song called perfect life which i feel is a great way to start out an album such as this then you got you know mother misery given to me whatever you know you got the track list you can look it up i'm not gonna i'm not gonna really say it out loud here the songs that really stood out for me were given to me worth the pain one foot in the grave uh, Last December and Bruised. And, um, At War and Control, too, to a certain degree. Uh, or a certain, a yeah, certain extent, whatever. I liked this whole thing. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say that right now. This whole album was fantastic. Oh, goodness. I don't really know what else, what much to say here. But, uh, uh, at certain points, some of them kind of felt a little bit formulated, a little bit too too much the same as like someone that came before it, you know, like oh maybe my angel sounds like Live a Lie or you no know, Holy Ghost like Last December, something like that. Probably not the best examples there, but you know, some songs did kind of sound like other songs in terms of the formula they used, you know, whatever. But they were still just good music. It's great to just jam out to this kind of hard rock stuff. Uh, sorry, I made that sound like I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I do. It's it's great to jam out to hard rock such as this kind of stuff. The, you know, Letters from the Fire is a great band that I've heard... I've heard a few of their other stuff from their EP, Letters from the Fire, which I, has a guy singing? Which I'm confused about, honestly. Don't really understand that, because the, the, the vocalist is a female. Oh, now I don't even remember what which song it was that had the guy screaming, but that was a really good song. I do not remember. I don't recall. Uh, some songs that really didn't, like, stand out to me as much were maybe Live a Lie, Mother Misery, Holy Ghost... And Scars. But I still also really love those songs. But definitely Given to Me and Worth the Pain were my my favorites. And and Bruised. Bruised as well. And Last December. Yeah. And I think One Foot in the Grave and Perfect Life. Okay. So let's talk about the beginning and the end. Perfect Life. It's a great way to start an album. One Foot in the Grave. Also a great way to end the album. Maybe not as strong as, say, maybe Worth the Pain would have been to end it. But still pretty, pretty out there, bombastic, like, it's, you know, it's awesome. It's a great way. Mm. 
my throat. It's a great, great way to end an album. Gosh, this is okay. When I said bombastic, I did not mean bombastic. I did not mean bombastic at all. That was the wrong word to use. <laughs> I, I swear to you, I took English class. That's just one of the few words that I guess mean meant something else that I that it does, doesn't actually mean. I usually know this kind of stuff. I apologize. Definitely, this album is not bombastic. It is amazing. It's oh, <laughs> I apologize for this, but no, like everything else, I love the cover art. Cover art's awesome. The band's awesome. Her voice is awesome. Although, it did kind of. Um, it does kind of sound a little bit similar to the vocalist for Icon for Hire. It's just a little different, but they kind of sounded a, a lot the same. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Obviously, you can't really control that. And Icon for Hire is a great band as well. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm just comparing two things that are similar, you know? Not necessarily good or bad thing. Just, it's a thing. And take it for that thing that it is being a thing and all. But Worth the Pain was a great album. I had a lot of lot of fun listening to this. I'm probably going to just listen to a bunch of other albums I haven't heard later. Just kind of had to record this real quick. I wanted to record outside, but it's raining. Or No, it was raining. But it's like kind of been off and on. And it's windy and it's cold. And there were people out there. So, yeah. But, but no, like, I think eventually at some point I might either set up a computer or do stuff outside so that, you know, you guys have something to look at while I do these reviews instead of just, oh, it's black screen, which is dumb, but hey, here's my cat. Guys, okay, yeah. Oh, hi. He's so cute. Oh, yeah, and I bought a disco ball. Because that's a thing. We have a family dollar here. And, I don't know, they were just selling this thing. It's also a clock. That's cool. I can charge it. The discos aren't on right now. Uh, is that how to... Oh, God. There they go. Woo. <laughs> it even kind of goes in time with some music. I was playing Panic at the Discos. Uh, don't throw me with a good time earlier. And it was... One of the coolest experiences I've ever had. The way it moved with that song. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, he's having a field day. This is completely unrelated to the album. Completely unrelated. I also bought some headphones recently that were pretty bad. Ooh. What does he see? And I'm also playing the Wii. So, that tells you how prepared I was for this. Eh? Oh, it's... Oh, she's chasing it. Okay. Turn off. There we go. Just randomly was like, hey, I need to record a video, so I'm just going to stop everything I'm doing and just do it. Just record. And then I did some Alfredo in a box that I need to eat. Man. I'm sorry for anyone who watches these. I, I promise you, at some point, I'm going to get more professional. I'm going to try and get a setup to do these. And possibly even at some point later down the line, might even just redo all these early reviews. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? I kind of have the attention span of, like, nothing. I don't, I don't have an attention span, really. I just do things that come to mind and, and that's it but anyway yeah so i guess that'll be it for this worth the pain worth the listen more like i should have started the video out with that line ah oh, come on <laughs> i'm really bad at this that would have been such a great oh oh no i'm sad no, not really but hey Great album. I highly recommend it if you like rock and metal. Specifically, also, if you like Hailstorm. Because Hailstorm's a very, very heavy heavy uh, metal band with a, f a rocking female vocalist. Um, 
and I feel like this this kind of is along those lines um, cause she cause the vocalist here I don't know her name this is Alexa Alexa I guess really gets into it here you know man like it's great listen to it that's it bye see <laughs>